Hey everybody, it's Camille Freeman with Physiology for Hippies. I got a question from one of my students the other day asking about AB and RH blood types. And she was saying, I think I basically understand ABO blood typing and how it might relate to blood transfusions, but what is the deal with the RH? How does that fit in? Okay, so before we answer this question, I want to go over some basics. When we're talking about any kind of cell in the body, there's all kinds of proteins on the outside of the cell. Some of them are transporters, some of them are channels, some of them are receptors to try to bind to different signaling molecules and so forth. And some of the proteins that are on the outside of these cells can be used to identify whether this cell belongs or not. So the immune system is essentially looking for certain proteins to figure out, is this part of us or do we need to do something about it? Now, in the case of red blood cells, there are a number of different proteins that can determine whether the immune system is going to accept or reject that blood cell. Now, um, the main ones that we use in terms of figuring out can somebody accept blood from someone else are A, B proteins, and then also RH proteins. These are two separate things, okay? So they're, they're completely different proteins that we are identifying on these red blood cells. So let's look at the AB ones first. So we have a red blood cell. Um, when it comes to this particular type of proteins, there are a couple choices. It can either have group A proteins, it can have group B proteins, it can have both, or it can have neither, right? So those are your only options within the AB blood typing. If you have group A proteins and your body gets some blood that has group B proteins, it's going to be like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This doesn't belong here, it's going to attack them. However, if you get group A proteins, because your body is used to group A proteins, it's like, oh, these are part of us, you aren't going to form antibodies to the you know, blood with group A proteins, and you're going to be good to go. Okay, so the next type that we're going to look at is the RH blood type. These are totally different proteins. Okay, and I, here we have gone into the category of Camille making her own drawings. So... <laughs> It's a little less professional than what came before. That's okay. All right, so here we've got, these are the red blood cells that are blue. You know, this is just the way it goes. Um, and when you're coming to these RH proteins, either you have them or you don't. So this is RH positive, meaning you positively have RH proteins on the outside of this red blood cell that's actually drawn in blue, or you don't have RH proteins on the outside of this blood cell. Okay, so that's your only choices. When you have a red blood cell, it either has these RH proteins or it doesn't have them. This has nothing to do with the A, B, and O proteins. That's a totally separate group of proteins. Okay, so here we have a red blood cell that's RH positive. Here we have one that's RH negative because it doesn't have those particular proteins. Now, we have them together. So if we combine what we just learned, in this case, I'm using these little orange triangles to depict um, A proteins. So here we have a red blood cell that has both A proteins and RH proteins. So we would call it A for the A proteins, little orange ones, and positive or plus for the RH proteins. So it's A and it's plus because it's positive for RH proteins. Over here, we have a red blood cell that still has these orange A proteins, but it doesn't have any RH proteins. So it is a negative because it's negative for the RH proteins. So it's two categories and they get combined to say you have A positive blood or B negative blood or whatever it is. But that's telling you to, about two different protein groups that have been inspected. Okay, so um, hopefully that clarifies how these two categories overlap but are not the same thing. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know about this or any other topic. I'd love to answer your question too. All right, take care.